Good morning. How are you today? Okay, my name is uh, Dr. Ted Dalton. I will be your professor for this class, uh, Management uh, Information System. Um, my background is uh, Information System. I have a uh, Doctor of Business Administration major in Management Information Systems. Um, so today I'm going to give you an overview of the class and then after the overview for attendance purposes you have to email me uh, a short paragraph about what uh, ideas you got from this presentation it's about uh, I just need two or three sentences from you and that will be your grade for the week and also your attendance okay let's start so first of all what are the objectives that um, you will learn from this week number one explain why information technology matters why is it important define digital information and explain why digital systems are so powerful and useful digital means computers Okay, uh, another word for uh, computers is digital information. Information coming from the computers. Now, I'm sure all of you are checking Google all the time. Google it, Google it. Okay. So, um, what makes it so powerful and useful? Explain why information systems are essential to business. Okay. Why is it essential to business? What is business? Business is the one providing goods and services in a capitalist economy. Okay. All the goods and services, all the food that you buy, all the clothes that you buy in the United States are coming from business. And business is also the one deciding deciding what goods and services to sell or to give you as a customer. Describe the careers in information technology. What careers do we have on information technology? Okay. And identify major and ethical and societal concerns created by widespread use of information technology. What are the ethics? What is ethics? Ethics is right and wrong. And some of the societal concerns that is kind of a challenge for us humans about the use of information technology. Okay, so those are the objectives. Uh, for this week that you have to understand and learn so let's let's now go to the crux of the matter does information technology matter okay does it matter social media for engaging customers is Facebook important to you? Are there so many things that you, you know, like, like I bought a pair of glasses, I saw it at Facebook. I have so many friends that, uh, that I haven't seen for uh, the longest time. And guess what? I, I got into contact with them again in a social media called Facebook. How about mobile banking? Now, 
anytime I want to know my balance to my bank account, I just go to the mobile banking and check my account. Can I deposit also? Can I also deposit using mobile banking? I, I get a check. Do I have to go to the bank? No, I don't. Okay, I don't have to go to the bank. I just have to go to the my mobile banking bank, you know, and then deposit the check from there. And then the next day I get the money. I don't have to fall in line. It's very hot outside, you know, or it's raining. I don't have to do all of those things. So the question, does it information technology matter? For me, it does. Facebook, banking. Now, how about to the business professional? Do you need to kind of know about information technology and use it, develop it? Now, as a business professional, you need to make decisions. So let's go to the next slide that will explain that. Okay. Now, first of all, let's look at how the computer works. How does the computer work? The computer work works like a binary counting. It uses a binary counting system. Instead of a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is a decimal counting system, we use the binary counting system, which is zeros and 1. Zero means no information, and 1 means with information. Okay. So, what are the digital systems? These are computers and devices that use the binary system. Even our phone, our watch they all use the binary system what is the binary system what is the numbering system it's zeros and ones information can be represented stored communicated and processed digitally digital means computers computers another word for computer is digital Okay. Now, what are the uh, good things about this computer in digital? Digital information is stored and communicated by means of electronic magnetic signals, like zeros and ones. Now, they are extremely fast copy of the original is possible you can copy and paste copy and paste copy and paste okay very fast accuracy and speed make digital systems powerful useful and important accuracy and speed whatever you copy that's what you paste okay now what are the purposes of information systems. Businesses uses information systems to make sound decisions. What are businesses again? These are the suppliers of goods and services in a capitalist economy. Everything that you can buy in the United States is produced and supplied by business. Okay? Now, so in business, you have to make sound decisions. What product or services will I make that the buyer needs? How, how will I communicate to the buyer? Okay. You need to have information for that. Now, what is a problem? A problem is any undesirable situation. If you are hungry right now, that is undesirable. So what do you have to eat? What do you have to do? You have to eat. Okay? So now you have a desired situation. 
So something from undesirable, it goes to desired. Now, you have a problem if your situation is undesirable. Now, what is a decision? A decision arises when more than one solution problem exists. There is more than one solution to a problem. If you only have one solution, that is not a problem. That is not something that you can decide. Because there is only one solution. Now, if you have so many solutions, now you have to make a decision. So, both problem solving and decision making requires information. Okay. You cannot just do some, you cannot just marry somebody without any information about the person. What if he is already married? So, you cannot marry a, you cannot marry that person according to United States law. Okay? So you need information. Now, the purpose of information systems. What is the purpose? Key to success in business. You want to be successful in business. You want, what is success in business? Making profit. Making profit means the customer is buying your product. Now, how do you do this? Gathering correct information efficiently. Efficiently means faster. Fast. Okay. Then, after gathering the information, you can store the information in your computer. And then you can retrieve the information so that you can use it. Okay, so we have three. Gathering the information. Efficiently means fast, and then storing the information and using the information. So information system supports daily operation. It supports our daily operation. Okay. Now, what are the parts of this? What do you need to have to be able to use this data, information, and information systems? Now, there are three terms that you need to know. First of all, it's data. Data are the, are the, are the raw materials. It can be words. It can be numbers. It can be symbols. There are three kinds of data, words, numbers, and symbols. Now, once you put the data together, you put words together, you put numbers together, and you, have, and you put symbols together, now you, we will have information. Okay? And then after the information, where do you, have, where do you put it? You need to have a system. You need to have a computer or a system on how to do these processes. It is important to understand the similarities and differences among these terms. Actually, data goes into information, and information is processed by a system, which is a computer or whatever, or a phone. Or a, a, an, a, 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 an Apple Watch. Okay. Now, data versus information. Let's look at this one by one. Data is given or a fact. It, or it can be also an opinion. It can also be uh, your opinion. It can be a number, a statement, or a picture. These are... Like I said, these are the raw materials in the production of information. Now, what are this information? These are facts, conclusions that have meaning within context. Now, what, is, uh, what are facts? Facts are the truth that came from evidence. 
evidence is something that hey that really happened Compose of data has been manipulated. The, so information, the, uh, the data has been manipulated into some other meaning. Okay. So what, are, what is data manipulation? A survey common method of collecting data. Okay, you ask people statistics. Reading the data can, can be extremely time consuming. Manipulating the data may provide valuable information. Example, categorizing and producing statistics may produce, may apply to marketing and manufacturing practices. Okay, so hey, you know what? Um, it, it's taking a long time for me to do this. So, hey, let's do it the short way. Okay, so that is data manipulation. So that uh, you can have a better meaning a better understanding of the data. Okay. Now, what is the process? Number one, the first process is gathering information. Usually produces information. Process. Manipulation of the data. May produce more data. A piece of information output of a process in one context may be considered data input to a process in another context. So it can go from one story to another. Okay, stories are made up of all these uh, facts, opinions, drama. Okay, some of us like to 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 watch dramas. I watch dramas. Okay, and from those dramas, I I I. I I can gather what is the problem. Okay. I like to watch Korean drama, Filipino drama, Japanese drama, American drama. Okay. So this is the input, the raw material. It can be pictures, numbers, words, letters. And then the process, and now we what we have is information. Information, it can be printed, hard copy, or it can be soft copy in the computer. Okay. Now I'd like to ask you, are you getting the ideas? Are you getting the ideas of what we're talking about here right now? Okay, think about it. Now, information in context. What is the meaning of the word context? Context is the, is the background. The background for the information. Okay. Not all information is useful if it's not within context. If, if, if you are in need of food... The context is that you want to know information about where can you get the food. If I give you information about the food in the context of where you can buy a car, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. So, what are the characteristics of a useful information? Useful means you can use the information. You can use it. If you ask me where can I buy food and I tell you the dealership of cars, it doesn't make any sense. You will tell me, hey, Ted, you're crazy. I'm asking about food. That information about where can I buy a truck doesn't make any sense to me because I'm asking you where can I buy food. So, the uh, information has to be relevant, complete, accurate, current. Current means, hey, where can I buy food now? Not where, I can, where can I buy food 10 years ago? And also economical. Economical means, you know, uh, you don't have to waste so much time in getting this information. So what is a system? 
there are three components of a system input process and output so a system first of all you input what the data and then what do you process the data that you inputted and then what happens you have an output and this is what we call information okay information So what are the characteristics of a system? They may have multiple goals, may contain subsystems, components of a larger subsystems, like other subsystems, like, you know, you have, a, um, you have storage, okay? You have a program. Facebook is a subsystem, has a sub goal that contributes to the main goal. It can receive input and transfer output to other subsystems. So here are some uh, examples of this. Okay. Uh, Sigma company accounting system. What's an accounting system? It gives you if you're making money or not. So uh, uh, the, the, the subsystems here are like accounts payable, general ledger for those of you who kind of study accounting accounts receivable, and the port generations. Okay, this is the accounting subsystem. This is the accounting system with four subsystems. We have four subsystems here. Okay, one, two, three, four. So, a system also is a closed system, has no connection with other systems. Open system interfaces and interacts with other systems. So there are closed systems and there are open systems. Okay. Now, information system, all the components work together to process data and produce information. So what is the purpose of the information system? To supply or produce information. Okay. Process data and and produce information that is the purpose of the information system okay now this is a very important word here systems thinking considering an organization in terms of subsystem now what are the what are the systems in a in a business you have the marketing you have production you have the human resource. Powerful management system approaches and creates a framework of problem solving and decision making. So if you are in human resource, you solve, you, you solve problems about the employees. If you are in production, you solve problems about the making of the product. Okay. If you are in uh, sales, you solve problem that sells the product okay so now all of these all of these uh, systems thinking all of the systems thinking it is it is collected and put on a database a database where you where you it is it is the it is the uh, storage of information a database okay now how do we do this now you have to have an information map describe of data and information flow within an organization shows the network of information subsystems that exchange information with each other and with the outside world okay you have an information map and then we have information technology that facilitates the construction and maintenance of information systems. Now let's reflect on this, what we have talked about. Okay. Now, let's go back to uh, after uh, a little bit of reflection. 
cons what information systems is composed of data, hardware, software, telecommunications, the internet, people, and procedures. These are the components of uh, the system. Computer-based information systems includes one or more computers at the center. So what are computers? What do they do? Collect, store, and process data into information. Now, who's the one doing this? Who's the one doing this? It's the people. Because the people are the giving instructions via computer programs. Okay. Now, think about this again. I'll give you one minute to think about this. Okay. So, here is another set of it. Okay. What is this? What's that? What is a software? What's telecommunication? What's people? And what are procedures? Okay. So what is hardware? What is software? What is tele telecommunications? What are people? And what are procedures? These are the parts of a computer information system. Okay. Now what are the new trends that have made information system important in business? Growing capacity and decreasing cost of data storage. Okay. It's now becoming big. Machines. Okay. Google. YouTube. Increasing variety and ingenuity of computer programs. And also cloud computing. What's cloud computing? The storage is, you have to rent it like cloud, compute, uh, cloud computing. Okay, you can rent a space from somewhere. Okay. What other trends do we have that have made IS important in business? Affordable software as a service. Okay, you can buy uh, accounting programs. For those of you, uh, uh, you know, who, who wants to do accounting, you can do it with a computer system. Quick and reliable communication lines. And you can also, you don't have to buy the, you, 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 you can just rent the program to the internet. Okay. Now, the growth of the internet is really something that came out just like, hey, what is this? Increasing computer literacy of the workforce. Organization must continuously upgrade the futures and employee skills when it comes to computer usage. Okay. So these are the four stages of processing. Input. What do you input? Transaction. A business event. What is a transaction? A business event usually entered as input. Now, in business, a business event that has monetary considerations. And then it becomes a transaction. Transaction processing systems, a system that records the transactions. You have to record it somewhere. Now, it's a computer. Input device includes keyboard, barcode, voice recognition systems, and touch screen. Now, what is, so that is the input here. Now, this is the processing. Changing and manipulation of the data. You kind of, uh, instead of having a word, now you have information. Okay. Example is the, this sent, the four stages of processing system. These are all words. Now, all these words were put together now and it now becomes information for you and for me and for anybody who will be looking at this PowerPoint. You see, all of these are words. 
Even the dots are important. Those dots there, see? Now it became information. And then you have output, get information out of the information systems. It can be printer, speaker, even a song, a song. You listen to a song, that is information. And then now you keep it, storage, maintaining mass amount of data and information. Okay, you, you can store it for thousands of years. You can spot you can you can put this information for thousands of years. Like a book. A book also is a system of storing information. Now computer systems for information system. Now let's look at the uh, parts of it. Different technologies are used to support for data processing functions. Input devices receives the input. That's what it do. Computers process the data. Output devices displays the information. And storage devices store the data. Network, the network devices like the internet transfers the data from one computer to another. Okay. Telecommunications, communications occur between computers over a distance. That is what we call telecommunications. Now, today what happens? There is a war going on, but we have all the information about that war. Okay. So here is a, here is a picture of that. Okay. What we just talk about on this other slide. Okay. From recording transaction to providing expertise. Now, different types of information system serve functions. Capabilities of application has been combined and merged. Now we have what we call management information system. Supports management activities. What are the what are the functions of management? Planning. Organizing, directing, and controlling. That is, that is what management information system does. And that is what the class is all about. So, all the chapters for the next up to every week will be talking about parts of this. Parts of planning, parts of controlling, and making decisions. Now, transaction processing systems most widely used in IS. This is like accounting. Records data collected at the point where organi organization transact business with other parties. Point of sale. Record sales include cash registers, ATM machines, and purchase orders. So this is transaction processing system, one of the examples of a system. Okay. Another one is the supply chain management system. A supply chain management system sequences the activities involved in producing and selling of product or services. For product includes marketing, Purchasing raw materials, manufacturing and assembly, billing, collection, after sales. For services include marketing, document, document, the management, and monitoring of customer portfolios. So, like right now, hey, the price of gas is so high. Why is the price of gas so high? What is the supply chain? Where does where does oil come from? Okay, where does oil come from? Okay, now just turn on the TV and and it will tell you the supply chain of oil. Okay, I've been I've been watching it 
this morning and hey but of course it also depends on uh, whom you're watching okay because some of them are not really telling the facts about the supply chain some of the uh, uh, news agencies okay so the SCM support supply chain activities also known as enterprise resource planning systems eliminate the need to enter the data captured elsewhere in the organization so you don't have to keep on repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating because right now you have a systems that they work together and they input each other better than doing it with a pencil okay enterprise applications separate business processes subsystems connected to form one large information systems okay now we have the another kind another example of this is the customer relationship management systems crm okay this this is now so the other one is about producing the product this one now is about the customer you have to deal with the customer okay well, you know what are the help manage relations with the customer maybe you know their phone numbers you know their email address okay used in combination with telephones to provide customer service open link with web applications that track online transactions and what happens if you have a good customer relationship your customer likes to come back with you you have loyal customers that's why i'm i like in this class i'm telling you please if you have any problems call me up my phone number is six two six two three three zero nine eight four now you leave a message and i'll call you back right away okay so this is my customer relationship management system with you what do we use we use the phone now business intelligence systems Business intelligence systems glean the relationship and trends from raw data to the organization compete. Okay, now we have competitors. In the United States, you can have two businesses doing the same thing. Do we have the same product like Pepsi and Coca-Cola, McDonald's and Burger King? Some of you like Burger King, some of you like McDonald's. Okay. So with all of this, you need business intelligence. You need to know what, what is the enemy doing? What is the competitor doing? Okay. What is the competitor doing? Now decision support systems. So we have so many systems now. We have so many systems that we're talking about. Okay. And expert systems. Okay. Hey. How many systems did we talk about now? Three or four? So DSS supports decision-making systems, relies on models to produce tables, extrapolates data to predict outcomes. Hey, what's going to happen tomorrow? Help answer what if questions. And then you have another system, the ES, ES support knowledge intensive decision-making, use of artificial intelligence, and can preserve knowledge of retiring information okay now we have geographic systems ties to physical locations hey gps where am i where am i even my phone has that right now okay may reflect demographic information in addition to geographic information if it will even tell you what time will you arrive okay at at your destination it tells you I, I i'm sure you you know that 
because you you're using that every day all cars now have gps i mean all the new cars okay so information systems and business functions functional areas like marketing finance okay within the company so they they, they have all these information systems too okay now these are examples of uh, uh functional uh, information systems we have the accounting information systems health record transactions produce periodic statements create required reports for law okay you have to submit your balance sheet income statement to the government create supplemental reports for managers contains control guarantee adherence to standards okay there's a way to communicate accounting that is the standard and then you have finance system where do i get the money where do i borrow the money how much money do i owe and all of those things okay so hey where can i borrow money where can i borrow money okay that's a finance system right marketing system where are the customers okay human resource system Okay, what are the benefits of the employees? Record keeping. Okay. E-commerce systems. Now we will be we will be going over and over this, you know, one by one as we go along the chapters. E-commerce, buying and selling goods and services through the internet. This is how Amazon made became the richest man in the world. The the owner of Amazon. Okay, Jeff Bezos. Okay. Now, what are the careers in information systems? What are the careers? Me, I, uh, you know, my career was in information. You know, 1980, when the computers came out, I was, I was uh, in the accounting department, and most of my friends um, got fired, you know. But I got scared, so I studied computers. And it became my career working for IBM and also teaching now, teaching computer systems. Okay, I'm also a CCNA, Cisco Academy instructor and Cisco Academy. I, I took the certifications. Okay. So we have a systems analyst, start career as a programmer. Research plans and recommend software and system choices. Okay. Responsible for developing the, the system. Database administrator. The one who develops the, the database. Network administrator. Okay. I'm, in, uh, I'm a CCNA. I'm a network administrator. Systems administrator. Manages organization computer operating systems. Okay. Mobile application developer. Developing mobile programs for Facebook and for uh, your phone. This is a very good uh, career, uh, career here. Makes a lot of money now. A webmaster making web pages, what color, what design, what to put where. Okay. The chief security officer, the officer keeping the uh, this hey this this information secured, especially social security numbers and all this information about you, especially about you. Okay. So it has to be uh, protected. Okay, so CIO, CTO, the same as the Chief Information Officer and Chief Technology Officer. Okay, so here is the Chief Information Officer. Okay, hey, nice, nice tie. <laughs> okay. Now, summary. I will not anymore go and read the summary to you. Um... I want you to answer a, 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 a short question uh, for your grade and also 
for your um, attendance today. Write your name and email it to me after I email it to you. Okay? Thank you very much. Nice meeting you guys. I hope you enjoyed this short presentation. Take care and...